How's it going everyone? It's been about four years since I first bought my kayak and this video is an update on my setup. For all the action that I capture on the water, I use this simple PVC GoPro mount that I made myself. It's half inch PVC with two 45 degree elbows and a butt cap. Uh, what I've done to the butt cap is took a quarter inch uh, drill bit, drill a hole straight through the cap and then place the GoPro camera tripod mount on that and it works perfect. You can fully articulate it uh, going back and forth, up and down, and as you'll notice inside my videos, it works quite well, especially when fighting fish. I can still keep my hand on the rod and completely fight the fish while I'm trying to go ahead and manipulate the camera angle that I'm using. The cannon rod holder definitely comes in handy whenever I'm trolling or if I'm preoccupied doing something, say as uh, tying a leader or a new lure on or fumbling around with a fish. Uh, you can go ahead and manipulate it in many directions. Uh, you can angle it using this right here and then you can secure your rod into place using this little lock ring. You can come out whenever it's not in use. The Lowrance is definitely one of the most important items that I have on the kayak and it's a complete game changer whenever I'm out in the water. It took a lot of practice learning how to use this thing, but once you know what you're looking at, you're always going to have an edge over the next guy who doesn't have one of these. I've got a ram tube to hold my fishing net, and it's because I was constantly getting tired of this thing getting snagged whenever it was in the back or up in the front of the kayak. Now, I have the peace of mind knowing that my net is always going to be exactly where I left it the last time whenever I'm fighting a big fish and need to get it quickly. It's not going to get snagged up, and I can go ahead and keep it close by me up at the front, or I can just push it backwards. Here in the tank well, I've got a simple 9-quart ice chest to go ahead and keep fish or food, something to drink, cold. Uh, it's nothing big or cumbersome, so unloading it and loading it up is pretty simple. It's not very heavy, and it gets the job done. This custom rock holder I built has definitely earned its place on the kayak. Before, like most other pro angler owners, I used to store all these guys up front in the horizontal storage. Uh, what I found though was because they would constantly get tangled up, I didn't want to switch out as often whenever the situation called for it. Therefore, building this thing has simplified the process 100%. I will now just reach back, grab a rod, it's super simple. Uh, one of the main considerations that I took into account was overhanging trees, going under bridges. Um, and because of that, I intentionally did not glue these two joints right here. That's simply so that I could reach back and lower every one of the rods all at the same time and then raise them back up whenever I cleared the obstacle. To get my kayak to and from the water, I use a cart that plugs into the scupper holes. Once you're at the water, you can go ahead and simply store the cart in the rear as I've done here, or you can go ahead and store it in the scupper holes if I wasn't using this ice chest, it would just simply plug right into the top side of the scupper holes. It's pretty simple. For safety during the day and nighttime fishing, I have a 360 degree light. It's mounted to an inch and a half ram ball and can be easily moved when not in use. Or put it away into storage, just simply untighten it. And then it can be packed down into a smaller size and placed up front to get it out of the way. This thing definitely comes in handy and keeps you safe on the water whenever you're nighttime fishing. I've also installed some LEDs for navigation to light up the cockpit and then also to attract some bait fish. All of these together with the 360 degree night light will keep you legal in most states and uh, without a doubt will let any other boaters on the water at night know exactly what you are when you're out there. And if they don't know what you are, at least they're going to see you. To turn them on and off, the switches have been conveniently located within arm's reach. Down below the front hatch, I've got my PFD. It's an inflatable one. Do not ever go kayak fishing without wearing one of these because when you least expect it, it's going to save your life one day. I've got a tackle tray for all my soft plastics. This is what I mainly use. I'd say three quarters of the time that I go fishing, this is the box that I'm always going to go to. I've also got another tackle tray. I've got three of these. Um, two are under the rectangular hatch, but this one's got uh, my spinner baits and the skirts and stuff like that. The other tray has got all my jig heads and then the other one has got nothing but crankbaits. 
got fish grips and it's also a uh, calibrated scale. I've got little floaties to go ahead and keep it floating if I was to drop it over. A pair of cold water uh, gloves that are uh, weatherproof or actually waterproof. Another pair of gloves that are thick neoprene for handling fish with a lot of teeth. I've got a flashlight for nighttime fishing. Really, really comes in handy. A microfiber towel to dry anything that may have gotten wet. Marker buoy to go ahead and mark a structure that uh, I have found and I want to come back to later. A black permanent sharpie marker. That's to go ahead and uh, measure out on my kayak a pre, uh, you know, designated length for a fish that I might want to keep for later on. I can just go ahead and use it as a quick reference and lay the fish right up against it. I've got a waterproof bag with uh, batteries for my 360 degree nightlight and my flashlight. Uh, don't ever store your batteries inside your gear because if you were to put the batteries in here, you forget about it. Later on when you come back, you find that they exploded sometimes and then just save yourself the headache. Underneath my hat or the uh, storage tray, I've got my dry bag. This has got my first aid safety kit, a change of clothes, which uh, is a sweat top, sweat bottoms, and some socks. That's in the event that I'm not wearing my dry suit and I happen to fall in the water. At least I got something dry to get into. I've also got my 12 volt battery that controls the Lowrance and the LED lights for fishing at night. And then my hog trough. Uh, most tournaments want you to use a uh, standard measuring device. The hog trough, uh, more often than not, is the one that everybody uses. As I said before, inside the rectangular hatch, I've got two other tackle trays uh, made by Plano. Again, holds all my jig heads, my hooks, and weights. This one is just mainly nothing but crankbaits. And then I've also got some fluorocarbon that I use as my leaders. Uh, definitely recommend using leaders whenever you're fishing clear water. Inside the rear storage hatch, I have a spare 12 volt battery. Everything on my kayak has been planned out through the course of four years using it. And before permanently installing any one of these items, I made sure that none of them would interfere with each other or my ability to go ahead, cast, bite, and land fish. If you're thinking about getting into kayak fishing, hopefully this video helps you to answer some questions or gives you some ideas. Just remember that the best advice anyone could give you about setting up is to actually put the time in on the water and eventually you're going to know exactly where you need your gear and that it's not going to be in the way. Tight lines, everyone.